All right, guess what? Another good one, again, here at LearnEnglish232.com. I don't say it enough, haven't been, I should be. You gotta be going to the website, www.learnenglish232.com because I got all the lessons written up. You might be on the site now, but if you're on YouTube, you might want to get over to the site, check it out. A lot of good stuff there, but anyway. This one is talking, it's not a boring lesson, ironically, but we're talking about how to use these words properly. I've heard them used by students like you, maybe, maybe, in a terrible way, in the wrong way. Not only grammatically incorrect, but totally wrong, because these actually have a different meaning. Okay, that's the interesting thing. And you can sound really funny in one way, but also very stupid in another way if you use them wrong. So pay close attention here to this whole thing. All right. These are both correct, actually. All right. I am bored compared with I am boring. Okay. Now, usually when you want to say this, you want to say I am bored because what you probably mean is that you know, you feel bored. And what is it to feel bored? These words all mean the same thing. They're just used differently. You know, boring is like if you have nothing to do all day and you're kind of lonely and it's raining outside, there's nothing good on TV, you got nothing to do. And that's what being bored is, right? I feel bored. I am bored right now, right? Or let's just say you're in a meeting and the meeting sucks and you don't like it, obviously, you can say, I'm really bored. Or you probably don't want to say that in the meeting, but you probably feel it. I'm really bored right now. Now, if you say, I am boring, what you're saying is you're making other people feel bored. So that's a terrible thing. So bored is the feeling that you have yourself when you feel that way, when you got nothing to do, and you know, you just don't like the situation that you're in. Just there's nothing good about it. It's not exciting, nothing. Just like, you know, not interesting, boring. So you don't want to say I am boring because if you say I am boring, it means you're making other people feel that way. If you say I am bored, it's probably what you mean. Now, of course, other people you might find to be boring. Like, let's say you meet some girl and all she does is just talk, talk, talk about herself and I don't know, you, you just don't really care, right? Maybe she has a job that's not that interesting, but she's telling you stories all the time about her job and the stories aren't very interesting. You can say she is really boring. Now, if you, if you see her, like let's say, now imagine you're being boring from her perspective. Say so you're on a date, she's sitting there with a drink, kind of stirring it around, playing with her phone, she's not interested in you she is bored. So if she's feeling bored, she's not interested. If you say she is boring, it makes you feel bored. So that's very important. I think it's clear. I'm going to make it more clear on the website, but I think you get the idea. Bored is how you feel when you got nothing to do and boring is making other people feel that way or some, something is boring and makes you feel like that. Okay, if you're talking about a thing, that is boring, always. You can never say that is bored. That's just wrong. It doesn't make any sense at all. So if I don't like a movie, okay, let's say I pay it, you know, money, whatever, to go to some new movie, it comes out and I don't like it, you know, I'm there for two and a half hours and I'm just looking at my watch waiting to go home because I don't like the movie, not interesting, didn't like it. So I could say that movie was really boring. If I say that movie was really bored, it makes no sense at all because a movie is a movie. It doesn't have any feelings. The movie's not excited, it's not happy, it's not sad, it's not bored, it's a movie. But when I watch it, I feel bored. So the movie makes me feel bored, the movie is boring, okay? Boredom, these last two are used less, but they're important nonetheless. Everyone hates boredom. So you can imagine boredom is just the feeling of being bored. So everyone hates the state of boredom. Boredom causes people to watch too much TV and eat too much junk food. I don't know. Or uh, 
you know, it could, she, he, same thing. She is such a bore. Okay, what does that mean? She's really boring. So it's just, it's just a way to use it. She is such a bore. Although this is more of how my grandmother would probably use the word. I hear it in that way. Oh, that, that is such a bore. That was a little bit older English in my perspective, in my, you know, that's how, that's what I know. So that's how to use it, but that's a little older. Usually you say, she's really boring. That's really boring, or I feel bored. Anyway, hop on the site, learnenglish232.com. We'll see you tomorrow.